come up with quite an interesting formula. Uh, I've actually bought myself a wind meter so I can get better at judging, at gauging how many miles per hour of wind is actually blowing in my face. Um, firstly, let's understand there's no such thing as a one club wind. A one club wind would mean that it's going to hurt my shot one club going into the wind and it's going to help my shot one club going downwind. It is not that. Um, I have found that it's about four to one. It hurts four times more going into the wind than it helps mm -hmm. going downwind. And the formula is as follows. Uh, I'm sure we can put a post underneath this that links to the article on my website where we've got this and I've got a video there, but the formula is pretty much as follows. Um, let's say I've got a 150 yard shot into the wind, into a headwind, and I gauge there to be 10 miles an hour of wind. I'm going to add 10 yards per 100 yards of shot. So I'm going to add 10 plus five for the 150. I'm going to add 15 onto that. I'm going to say, okay, it's a 165 yard shot. What club would I hit 165 yards? And then I need to take one additional club. So it's invariably going to play a 150 yard shot into the wind is going to play similarly to, I believe, a 175 yard shot. Uh, I would take my 175 club, give it a little bit less than a full swing to keep the trajectory down, keep the ball, keep the spin rate down and try to keep that as a result, keep that, you know, that flight down so that you can still control it. But my experience is particularly young players tend to underestimate shots into the wind and they overestimate shots downwind.